Let's start the show. LeBron James, King James, a.k.a. Queen James. I know you think you helping black people, but you're not. You need to shut up. You're making shit worse. <laughs> you People look up to you. You have a lot of power and in, in, in influence. Millions of fans, man. Black folks look up to you. So when you say something, they listen. Yeah. And you out here scaring them. <laughs> <laughs> you said... You sound like that evil big brother that some kids have that teases them and scares them about everything. Yeah, the boogeyman gonna get you. Boogeyman gonna get you. Policeman gonna get you. <laughs> That's what you sound like. That evil big brother is making fun and teasing his little brother. All right, today we uh, LeBron. I guess after the most recent game, he had something to say about that that shooting up in Kenosha. Um, I, I don't. I still don't get it. You're trying to win the NBA title. That's what I'm thinking you're trying to do. And you trying to save black people at the same time? I mean, how are you going to do that? You especially can't do it when the, a lot of people can't help themselves. Yeah, you can't help somebody if they don't want to do good. If they don't want to help themselves. Yeah. And that's what I see when I what happened to this young man up in Kenosha. Yeah, this I, dude can't even help himself. Yeah, I'm like, man, LeBron, you won three NBA titles. How did that happen? Because it seems like you got no brains. You can't win NBA titles just on physicality alone. <laughs> you got to have some brains. Just a little. And I know you got a little brains. But damn, the way you talk, man, you sound... about these events that's happening in our country right now, you shouldn't be discussing them. I mean, they're out of your ballpark. You're not <laughs> helping anybody. It's out of your league. But anyway, this is what LeBron had to say. If you're sitting here telling me that there was no way – to subdue that gentleman um, or, or detain him or to just before the firing of guns, there was multiple, if you watch the video, there was multiple moments where if they wanted to, they could have, they could have tackled him. They could have grabbed him. You know, they, that, they could have done that. I know people get tired of hearing me say it, but we are scared as black people in America, black men, black women, black kids. We are. We are terrified because you don't know. You have no idea how that cop that day left the house. You don't know if he walked on the good side of the bed. You don't know if he walked walk on, on the wrong side of the bed. You don't know if he had an argument at home with a significant other. You know, if one of his kids said something crazy to him and he left the house steaming. Maybe he just left the house saying that today is going to be the end for one of these black people. Man, LeBron, you crazy as hell. Black people are scared. He said black people are scared. That's what he said. He said black people are scared. Hey, Guess what, LeBron? Cops are scared too, you know. Yeah, they're not robots. They're people. They have a dangerous job. That's why they have a gun on their hip mm -hmm. and a bulletproof vest. Because by the hundreds, they die every year on the job. More than black and white people combined. But you don't see anybody protesting for them. Yeah. Nothing. You don't see the NBA with Blue Lives Matter on the court. No, they got Black Lives Matter claiming that, that black people being hunted down like animals. Which is all a lie. You're not helping anybody. You're not helping anybody victimizing black folks the way you are. And then he, he rationalizes as a black person, I'm black. I ain't scared. I see a cop. I'm happy as hell. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah they doing some cops around here. Yeah, they're doing their job. I feel so safe. Right? Look how they're looking over here at me. <laughs> they making sure I'm on the up and up. <laughs> These people are on the job. Yeah. But then you you rationalized like scaring black people like you scaring them about what cops how that 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 mindset did this cop wake up on the wrong side of the bed this morning is he gonna take it out on some black kid somewhere LeBron that's irrational and it's stupid I can say that for anybody I can say that for black folks that's like me getting up and say man I wonder how these black folks gonna get out of bed today man I'm scared I mean. Don't we're, make no sense. We're not saying there's not bad cops out there. They're bad cops, but you're making an argument based on a hypothetical. That's not very smart. It's not smart at all. It's actually, I wouldn't call it ignorant. I would say it's just dumb. Yeah, some people would even say it's low IQ. <laughs> <laughs> but I know you don't have low IQ, LeBron. You won three 
NBA titles. Somebody's got to be making you say this stuff. Yeah. You okay? He he also goes on to say the cops. It shouldn't even got this far. They should have took him to the ground and, and and arrested him. LeBron. They tried all that. There's other camera angles available yeah. now. They tried to take him to the ground. Yeah. And the dudes, strong dudes, shook him off like flies and just walked away. Yeah. LeBron arresting somebody. That's not an easy task. You act like you've done it before. I mean. Easy for you to say. You dribble a basketball. You're six foot nine, two hundred and eighty pounds. You shouldn't have a problem arresting anybody. You know what's crazy? We used to arrest shoplifters for a living. Yeah. Right. And that's one of the toughest things to do, regardless yeah. of how big that gentleman or female is. They yeah. could be six feet or three feet tall. It is difficult still to handcuff them. I yeah. mean, it's real difficult. It's like sometimes you got to loosen some ribs up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I mean. One of the toughest persons to arrest is a skinny white female wearing Gucci. They are the toughest ones. <laughs> I remember her. She like kicking dudes in the nuts. <laughs> LeBron. No, man. I would like to see you as a police officer. You act yeah. like you've done this job before. I can see LeBron James in this incident. Get on the ground. I got you. I'm handcuffed. You. Wait a minute. Come back. Come back here. Where you going? I'm being nice. Come back. You go into the car. All right. What you getting? A lollipop? Oh, proof of insurance. Okay. All right. You got it? Hey! See, LeBron, look. Trying to be nice? Got him shot. He's dead. He's never going to see his family again. You act like these cops are psychics. They know exactly who they're dealing with. They don't know who they're dealing with. Hey, um. I mean, you sitting back, you, you making all these excuses for these people with these with criminal records of violence, yeah, I mean, felonies. If this guy's not being nice, why should the cops be nice? The cops didn't go up to this dude and say, look, there's a black guy. Let's take him to jail yeah. because he's black. Yeah, This dude had outstanding warrants. I mean, felonies. One of them was for uh, rape, yeah, sexual of, assault. Of a minor, right? He also had priors for involving guns so they know who they dealing with this is a dangerous individual individual and you want them to play nice tackle them in what world does that work this dude is taking advantage of every situation they yeah. wasn't being nice when he took him down to the ground they yeah. should have loosened them damn ribs up they didn't loosen his ribs up he got up he walks off now he's going to the car okay let's be nice hey man come on man come back here yeah i mean come on yeah. that life is at risk now this dude is this dude is not following command. So why yeah. is he going to the car? Is he just jumping the car to take off? Or is he going to the car? Think about it, LeBron. Well, this well, guy is a violent individual. He's proven that. His past is proven that. He jumps in the car, takes off with his kids. Is this kid safe now? Yeah, and you refer to this guy as a gentleman. And now you see everybody in the media holding this guy up, holding his kids. That man didn't give a shit about his kids when he jumped in that car. Personally, if I, I wouldn't get into an altercation with cops. Yeah. I got my five, six kids in the car, and I try to jump in the car with them. Yeah. What kind of father am I to do something like that, put yeah. my kid's life in danger? Yeah. Everybody knows cop got his gun out. Cops will shoot you. Yeah. If that life is at risk or they feel that life is at risk, they will shoot you. Everybody knows that. Yeah. His girlfriend is screaming at him. Everybody's screaming His at this mama dude is screaming at Everybody's screaming at this dude just to stop and follow the commands. And but somehow you refer to him as a gentleman, and they should have did something to prevent it from getting this far. How about this? You want to help black people? You want to help citizens of this country? Yeah. Won't you tell them, hey, hold yourself accountable. Yeah. If the cops give you an order, do not resist the arrest. Follow that commands. Take your ass to jail. You will have your day in court. What's wrong with that? That's how you. That's how, that's what advice you give. That's what advice I gave my son. Because I'm not saying LeBron, uh, black lives don't matter. They do, but blue lives matter too. They have families. They have wives. They have kids. Everybody's life matter, LeBron. So people need to start acting like it. People need to hold themselves accountable. Not just the cops. Black folks too. White folks. You know Everybody needs to hold you know themselves accountable. If this dude will hold himself. Uh, at the level that y'all trying to hold cops to, yeah, you wouldn't even need cops. Yeah, we could get rid of them. You could defund the police, and make them all social workers. <laughs> yeah. Go to officialharshtwins.com and pick you out a patriotic T-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20 percent off. Just type in discount code Chinese virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making T-shirts great again.